द इलेक्शन आर कमिंग अप सो डज द पोलिटिकल टर्म ऑयल एंड वॉट वी विटनेस यस्टरडे नाइट इन द कैपिटल सिटी ऑफ द कंट्री इज नॉट यूजल फॉर अ डेमोक्रेटिक कंट्री बट वी मस्ट टेक केयर ऑफ दिस फैक्ट दैट इफ समन हैज कमिटेड क्राइम द पर्सन मस्ट बी पनिश्ड नाउ इट्स अप टू द कोर्ट दैट हाउ कोर्ट इज परसिविंग दिस काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन whether delhi cm is convicted through this case or not hello friends welcome to the in new series of drishti ias i am ritu and today's session is about why delhi cm got arrested and this session is important for gs2 as well as your ethics perspective moving towards the points of discussion part first of all we are going to discuss the news then we'll have a discussion on delhi excise policy case that what was the case then we are going to discuss what accusation against the kejriwal and then what was the response of the arvind kejriwal regarding this matter and his party response and then practice question for prelims before that you have to like share and subscribe to the drishti is channel and as you already know that holi is coming up and drishti is has come up with the discounts of all the online courses and you can get discount up to 50% on all the online courses if you have any queries kindly dial on to this number and this is the validity time so moving towards the news part so we already know that delhi cm arvind kejriwal got arrested yesterday from his residence and his two phones and two tablets also seized regarding this matter so we must know that why he got arrested so there is a excise policy case which is a liquor scam case and on the accusation by cbi and ed he got arrested so this is the news we are going to cover in today's session moving to the next slide next slide is about that what was the case so there were two cases registered against arvind kejriwal the first case was uh, by the cbi and the second by the ed and what was the case so it was the case of money laundering in case of liquor scam case or excise policy scam so this was the case and uh, there was a person who was a secretary of the delhi uh, lg naresh kumar and the person has accused that there was some serious corruption happened in the implementation and formulation of the excise policy and because of that they had committed money laundering and money theft and because of that the ed has summoned uh, kejriwal um, so many times and finally he appeared against the ed and also cbi raided the cm's house and also the uh, aap members house manish shishodia and the health minister house so this was the case and uh, what that report says which has been released by the naresh kumar the report said that the nature of the crime and nature of the financial theft and financial forgery was arbitrary and unilateral decision so because of the unilateral and arbitrary decision there was a scam happened and with the capacity as a excise minister manish shishodia has also done few money laundering case and because of that we can see that he also got arrested and currently he is in the jail so this was a that and because of all these arbitrary and corruption issues there was a financial losses to exchequer by 580 crore so the report says that uh, so after that what had happened that uh, it has been also alleged that owners and operators of alcohol business for preferential treatment it means that owners and operators of the alcohol business ha have been given by preferential treatment they have been given concession they their loan has been waived and so many other financial favors has been given to them and administrative favors given to them and why such kind of favors given to them in order to win the punjab election and the goa election and because of that they had committed such crimes so this was the report that says that and ed also alleged that there was a scam and that was to give wholesale liquor business to private entities In earlier it was the uh, for the twelve percent margin they are receiving the six percent kickback and they had also collected around hundred crore in form of the kickback so this was the accusations and this was the case and there was a constant loopholes in the excise policy case and also there was a backdoor supply of the liquor and so many things and because of that uh, in this case we have seen that Manish Shishodia also arrested 
and later there was a group which group is called as the south group and the uh, kavita k kavita sh she was a member of brs she was also a member of the south group and recently she also got arrested and after his her arrest the ed has uh, accused that chief minister arvind kejriwal is a main conspirator to this case and on march 18 uh, the chief uh, minister of delhi uh, has accused of chief conspirator to this particular case of the south group under which kejriwal is also a member and kejriwal is also involved and it was a allegation by the ed that kejriwal himself talked to vijay nair who is one of the accused of this case on video call and called that he is our boy so these are the accusation which is imposed on the delhi cm arvind kejriwal and uh, ms kavita after her arrest we can see that top leaders of aps are also registered and they are also their name is also in the fir so maybe the more leaders will be uh, also arrested and the ed has said that there was a significant problem in the formulation and implementation of the case and uh, there was a serious violation of the excise policy 2000 case a uh, 10 case and they had also said that in the form of kickback they had received 100 crore of the money so this was the allegation and accusation against the kejriwal moving to the next one next one is about that uh, what had happened uh, further so there was a continuous stream of illegal funds uh, it is elected by the ed and samir mahindu who was the chief uh, accused of this particular case he was also in touch with the cm kejriwal so this was the accusation we have on cm kejriwal so what was the kejriwal response to this thing so kejriwal response to this thing is that and the whole app thing is saying that you know elections are coming and the PM Modi is not able to play a ground field and play equally or in a significant manner. So that's why he started arresting opposition leader. And because of that, we can see that there was an arrest of CM uh, Hemant Soren, there was an arrest of uh, CM Arvind Kejriwal. And they are saying that they are uh, dignified, they are not taking care of the dignity of the democratic country. They want to shut up the opposition voices and because of that they are doing these things and whatever the report they have released that report are arbitrary in nature fishing in nature and misguiding in nature they don't have actual proof and in fact kejriwal is not convicted yet so we cannot say that kejriwal is the main conspirator and he is the actual accused of this particular case so this was the response of the AAP and CM Kejriwal that in order to shut down the voices of the opposition, the center is taking and center is deliberately uh, problematic, uh, doing so many problematic things to the opposition leader. So this was the response. So uh, rest, the court will decide that who is right into this situation, but this is the case and you must know that what was the excise policy case. So moving toward the question part. So the question is consider the following statement regarding the enforcement directorate and the first statement is it functions under the department of revenue of the ministry of finance and then second statement is Rahul Naveen was appointed as in charge director of the enforcement directorate. Here they are asking the correct statement so kindly answer in the comment section. I hope you like this session if you have any queries related to this session kindly ask in the comment section and happy holy to all of you. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe, and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.